Appears to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. Now we'll have this for birdie. It's at sneaky distance. Well, he's not going to be real happy with that. Wow. And getting ready for the putt. Back here on the bonny shores of Scotland at Royal Troon Golf Club with just a wee breeze, as they say over here, Frank. On the tee at the 12th. The yeah, hole that bends to the right, to a gorse right and left. There's a bit of a mound and rough down the right side. That has to be avoided. Rich, there's great drivers of the ball. We've seen Norman necklace over the years, but uh, that there is just excellent. Lovely full turn, plenty of power, and just piped it. Made it look easy right there, and he, he's such a good-looking player. When he's dialed in, swinging the way he is right now, just a pleasure to watch. That's well played. Places it about 10 feet out for birdie. Well, there's an opportunity wasted. Just knocking him for a par, and let's forget about this one. Golf is not about perfect, but it's going to hurt the course. In for par. Frank, on paper, 13 seems pretty straightforward, but it's not that simple, is it? No, very stringent tee shot. Uh, gorse right and left, plus a little sort of mound with some rough on down the right side. So really, you've got to hit the ball down, not just the fairway, but the left side of the fairway. Good tee shot right in the fairway and plenty long. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. That would be a great look at birdie. Bogey here yesterday. Now this for birdie. So close. Frank had the touch of a plumber right there. Yeah, you'd like a redo, wouldn't you? Wake up, wake up! <laughs> Just drip that in. Well, it's four and a quarter inches. Use it all. Heading for home now, Frank, the par 3, 14. Just under 180 yards. What's the key here? Well, it's rather narrow at the front there. There's three bunkers, but it's the second two that you really worry about that narrow the front of the screen up. Plus, the front is slightly raised, so ideally you want it to fly up more towards the middle where it starts to widen up. Terrific golf shot. And now, that for an easy birdie. Now at the 15th at Royal Troon Golf Club, 483-yard par four. This, Frank, is one of the hardest holes in the course. It's certainly a stout par four at that distance. So playing it into a head breeze, 260 yards is certainly going to be a big tee shot. The 260 yards takes all the bunkers out of play. Oh, that's fine. And now it's right in his wheelhouse. Good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. This is a good-looking shot. Just a case of a hole suiting the player's eye. Made the birdie yesterday, and he has a good chance to make another one today. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Frank, here's the only par five on the back nine at Royal Troon. You'd think at 542 yards it would be reachable, but the burn that cuts across really limits the tee shot to about 280 yards. So it's very much about placing that second shot in a good distance for your third. In the 1997 Open Championship here at Royal Troon, you played with Tiger Woods in the third round. What did he do at this 16th hole? He hit a driver for a second shot into a head breeze from about 270 yards, managed to get it on the green, then knocked it in from about 45 feet for eagle. You knew he was something special back then, didn't you? Uh, yeah, he was the only one that even tried that shot. Now his third, staring right at the green. See if he can get this one to drop here at the 16th for a birdie. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. 
continues to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. 17th here at Royal Troon. This is a very strong par three, isn't it, Frank? Well, if, rabbit have, if rabbits have teeth, then this is why it's called rabbit. Very, very strong par three. Good, clean contact and a nice result. And a chance for birdie coming up. 14 feet to the hole. Frankie took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. Frank, the right fairway bunker ruined Greg Norman's chance at the 1989 Open Championship here at Royal Troon. Yeah, pulled out driver, and um, there's one bunker down the right side. They had a perfect tee shot. What looked like it was perfect. Somehow it managed to run all the way down there and behind the lip. And, of course, the rest is history. He has just hammered this drive here at the 18th, and now he is in a really good position to make a birdie here in the final hole. That's a nice approach shot. It's about 15 feet away. A good chance for a birdie to win the international challenge. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. Settles in over the putt. And he makes it for par. Just a fantastic week of golf. Add that one to the win count. A lot of uh, great quality players out there, and to come on top of that leaderboard is truly a great accomplishment.